Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning for Pope Francis and our bishops. So Pope Francis is going to Canada today for a week, uh, a pilgrimage of reparation and uh, reaching out to those who have been hurt by the church in the past. Uh, for those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the souls of Monsignor Jacques Baird, and for Sister Catherine and Sister Mary Grace, late of this community, for the souls in purgatory, <clears throat> for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. God is in his holy place. God who unites those who dwell in his house, he himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this Holy Mass by asking pardon for all our sins and accepting the grace of forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, the Lord said, because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great and their sin is very grave, I will go down to see 
whether they have done all together according to the outcry which has come to me, and if not, I will know. So the men turned from there and went toward Sodom, but Abraham still stood before the Lord. Then Abraham drew near and said, Will you indeed destroy the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are fifty righteous within the city. Will you then destroy the place and not spare it for the fifty righteous who are in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to slay the righteous with the wicked, so that the righteous fare as the wicked. Far be that from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find at Sodom fifty righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham answered, Behold, I have taken upon myself to speak to the Lord, I who am but dust and ashes. Suppose five of the fifty righteous are, are lacking. Will you destroy the whole city for lack of five? And he said, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. Again he spoke to him and said, Suppose forty are found there. He answered, For the sake of forty, I will not do it. Then he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Suppose thirty are found there. He answered, I will not do it if I find thirty there. He said, Behold, I have taken upon myself to speak to the Lord. Suppose twenty are found there. He answered, For the sake of twenty, I will not destroy it. Then he said, Oh, let not, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak again but these ones. Suppose ten are found there. He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I praise you. I bow down toward your holy temple. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I give thanks to your name. For your merciful love and your faithfulness, you have exalted your name and your promise over all. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased the strength of my soul. On the day, the day I called, you, you answered, answered me, O Lord. Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. You give me life, though I walk amid affliction. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. On the day you answer me, O Lord. With your right hand you save me. The Lord will accomplish this for me. O Lord, your merciful love is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On the day you answer me, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brethren, you were buried with Christ in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, who were dead in trespasses, under the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him having forgiven us all our trespasses, 
having cancelled the bond which stood against us with his legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <clears throat> you have received the spirit of sonship. In him we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation. And he said to them, Which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, Lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, Do not bother me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, though you will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet... Because of his importunity, he will rise and give him what he needs. And I tell you, ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to those who knock, it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If then you, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. <clears throat> so what does this extract from the Gospel of Luke say to us, to Carmel, to sisters who pray every day, and to all of us who surely pray the Our Father every day? And we are about to say it more solemnly in the heart of the Mass, just before Holy Communion. We're so used to the Our Father that perhaps we do need to hear the Gospel of Prayer from Luke today. It's got a human dimension to it as well. We, we heard in the first reading how Abraham bargained in prayer with God, beating him down from 50 to 10. So he was very much a Middle Eastern practice to this day, 
uh, bargaining and bartering and all the rest of it when you try to buy something in the markets, say, in the Holy Land. And the human side is reflected in Luke as well when he talks about uh, the man, the little parable of the man going to his friend and looking for help in the middle of the night. And the friend said, no, I can't, I'm in bed. And uh, in the Middle East in those days, everybody slept in a big bed, the whole family. And uh, <laughs> to get up would disturb everybody in the house. And they said, no, 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 I can't. But the man keeps asking. He keeps asking, and it says in our version, uh, because of his importunity, <laughs> It's rather a big word. Uh, another translation is because of his shameless audacity. But maybe the best word for, for us to grasp this kind of incident is nagging. I'm sure you know what nagging is like. Um, I mustn't select out who's good at nagging, whether it's husbands or the wives. But we all know what it's like to be got at that way and how we even if they're close friends we say, oh for goodness sake and you give in just to shut them up so prayer can be like that jesus is down to earth and practical that you can go on nagging god for what you are desperate about and in the gospel it was a good act the man was trying to be kind and hospitable to his guest. Of course, if we're nagging God about things that are not so good or not good for us, then our nagging won't work. <laughs> it has to be in line with the kingdom, with God's values, with the truth of God. And therefore, God is not going to give us things that are bad for us, even if we're not aware of that at the time. But of course, underneath all of this, there's something really deeper than just nagging. The prayer that Jesus teaches us, this Our Father, we use the Matthew version in our daily prayer. You notice that Luke's version is a bit trimmed down. But the Our Father authenticates Jesus' authentic mission and shows that what he preaches and expresses, portrays in his ministry, expresses the deep reality of his own prayer. It's very interesting that uh, if you come across someone in prayer, deeply immersed in prayer, you sense it and you somehow, even if you don't know what they're praying about, it's uh, very impressive and leads to that inquiry. Teach us to pray. Uh, I remember once when I was living for a little while in Liverpool, um, we had a visit in the city um, from Mother Teresa. And uh, I used to be, not a chaplain, but I used to go quite often to their community, the Mother Teresa sisters. And anyway, she came to Liverpool. And I went one morning, uh, I'd heard she was in Liverpool, but it hadn't connected. Of course, she would be staying with the sisters. And I went into the chapel to get ready for Mass, and she was there on the floor praying. And I've never forgotten that scene and the sense that, yes, she was wrapped in prayer. She was lost in prayer. And I had that urge to say, you know, teach me to pray like that. Uh, so there's always something deeper going on. Our prayer 
the prayer that Jesus gave us, which we make our own, means that we are participating. We are praying as he prayed, and most particularly in the Eucharist. He gives us the words with which to pray. In the Psalms, he gives us, inspires the writer with words so that we can pray. We're given the words in order to pray. We participate in Jesus' personal prayer, that is, in his face-to-face -face intimacy with God, with the Father and the Holy Spirit in the Trinity. And so Jesus teaches us very practically, keep on asking, because when you ask, you will receive. So some people in their prayer focus on asking, prayer of petition. And it is most effective and most pleasing to God when we're asking not for ourselves, but for others. And what we ask for others, we will find that we are granted that ourselves. Some people are seekers all their lives, searching, searching for something deeper, in their prayer, and they will discover that the very longing, the very asking, and the very searching is a finding and a discovery and knocking on the door of heaven. So we take confidence in our prayer life, and we say to Jesus in this Mass, in our prayer, Teach us to pray as you pray. Amen. So let us stand and profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Loving Father, we thank you that you give us the gift of prayer and the example of your Son, Jesus, and of all the saints. Help us now to pray for one another, for our parish, our church, and our world. That in our work and worship together, our church and the parish may reflect our faith in a Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That those who serve our church as pastors, teachers, and counselors may be ministers of God's reconciliation and healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those nations, cities, and peoples fraught by war, oppression, and destruction may be rebuilt in the peace and justice of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That men and women of goodwill may speak like like Abraham on behalf of the innocent victims of poverty, oppression, greed, and abuse. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the suffering, and the dying may find hope and healing in company with Christ the Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Father will raise to the new life of the risen Jesus, the source of all who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will hear the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we know you hear our prayers. May the spirit in which we ask these things inspire us and enable us to make these prayers a reality. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you and in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice uh, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. <clears throat> May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and so we obey Jesus as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, right. <clears throat> that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Mm. The body of Christ. Okay. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 
The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. 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 The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us pray. O 
We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.